Hello my little jammers and welcome to another building video and this time it will be huge because it's Panzer S1 made by Zvezda. So as usual we start with box review but we are at the instruction manual page as you can see we are looking on the whole instruction itself of course interior doors fenders for wheels tubes discs for wheels fuel tanks and some other details like fenders and of course the cabin this page you can see complete the whole model almost and of course don't forget the rocket system and of course don't forget the camouflage key here you can see from russia of course the sand operation and the last one which i took is from finland and here you can see decals and of course clear parts Here you can see the closer look on the decals, as you can see we have some watches from interior, numbers and of course this mesh which is included in the kit. And don't forget on these beautiful stickers. I like this mirror reflection, it's amazing. Right now as you can see I start gluing some tubes and other parts for this huge engine. It is fun. And don't forget on my favorite tool which is tweezers and of course some copper wires for nicer details. Here you can see the complete engine with all details. And right now I start building the interior for the cabin. And of course some improvement on the seats as well. I use flat wire like for holders. Of course some little interior into the doors as well for the lights I use this part which is included and its covers for the lights gluing the first door And after that spray the interior with nice white paint from Amalmic, of course airbrushed. And I somehow forgot to airbrush indoors, so I painted with a just brush. And of course don't forget on this nice seat or something to lay, I think, paint with a ochre color, like something to imitate the skin tone, I think. And paint all seats with nice black color as well. After one seat I realized why I don't use airbrush. <laughs> I 
and glue the seeds to the position. And make interior of course dirty with wash from just an acrylic cover. Here you can see the final result. When cleaning some pronouns mold lines with sharp knife, it is a necessity. Now I'm going some little details for the steering wheel, like uh, the blinkers and the steering wheel itself. I think this tubes is for like air cooling system, maybe. And complete the whole dashboard. And of course paint the whole dashboard with nice black color. And right now I must use decals, the watches for the dashboard. And don't forget the decal softener. Yeah, it looks kinda nice, but still missing some small details paint with a paintbrush. I use only acrylic colors and of course wash. It looks nice. Handle for the door. And again airbrushing, but this time grey primer for the engine. And of course the nicely shine metallic color from Vallejo. And make the engine more dirty with not highly diluted wash, but with a dance wash. At this point I am making like the elevators I think for the whole truck. I don't know the right word for this part, sorry. Glue the steering wheel into position. And glue the exterior part of the doors. And glue some other parts for the skeleton for the track. And some other parts like turret, etc. And don't forget to cut out the fenders for the wheels and clean the excess plastic with a sharp knife.
and glue the elevators to the skeleton. and fenders and correct the position. Cutting out the part for the skeleton. and glue some small details and of course I think this transmission and again cleaning very pronounced small lines with sharp knife some details which is still missing to the engine part Mixing the color for the tubes and other details and paint it with Da Vinci brush. Cleaning some moonlights on a very tricky part as you can see. Don't forget to color it. Another transmission. And of course don't forget on the nail files as well. And clean some excess plastic with sharp knife. Now I glue the whole the Casafuaga wheels, at least I think, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And glue this tube transmission. Here I lost some parts, so I must use only the plastic sprue and glue it. And for gluing clear parts I use ordinary PVA glue. Of course you can use a thin glue, but you must be very careful. And here you can see the closer shot. Now as you can see I start gluing some details for the footsteps. and use tweezers to manipulate with small details like this mesh. Right now I'm making something like a box. Here you can see the complete box. And here you can see the torsion bars or something like that. I'm not fairly sure what this is.
here you can see where I going I think discs or something for steering the wheels and don't forget the fenders for the wheels itself and now I can easily glue this grill for the side and glue these spiders After all small details, I start assembling this mobile charging system, at least I think it is. And glue the roof on the top. As you can see, the roof has a little bit of gap, so I must fill it again with a Damia white party. And right now, I start making something like a small roof. And I using the magic art visas for manipulation of these small details. And correcting the position with uh, magic art visas. Glue on the place this side roof or maybe solar panels I think right now. And gluing the charging system. And don't forget for cleaning the excess party with a sandpaper with a different grid. Now I completing the hatch with this little handle on the top. Here you can see the beautiful stickers and I must use it for the mirrors. Glue the hatch on the top with a rubble contactor. After assembling a charging point, I start assembling this huge rotation for the turret and of course for the radar and for rockets and I use for gluing extra thin glue Mr. Cement SP. I decided to use some little modification here because I don't want to use a classic plastic part so I must drill out the holes with hot needle and I use super glue and of course tweezers and wires. And here you can see completed with all wires. I glue on the top of these metal plates for something. And of course I use mesh from the kit on the sides for the radiators I think.
and of course here you can see how it looks and I must glue the rest of the mesh and of course some other details and letters Here you can see the wheels and all three parts what you need to assemble the discs. I use it of course for gluing Mr. Cement S. Here you can see how I start gluing the side of the turret and of course the front section. Here you can see the complete rotation for the turret and the correct fitting. And now I start cutting the MGs with new cutters and cleaning very pronounced mold lines with sharp knife. And now I can easily glue the MGs on the rotation. As you can see, I must use plastic sprues for editing because I lost the previous parts for it. Gluing the small pieces on the back of the radar. Correcting the hydraulics, I think. After all that, gluing the radar on the place. Gluing the clear part, as I said before, with Mr. Cement S. And after that, I complete something like a telescope, I think, or vision ports. As you can see, I complete the rocket launches and I must use party for filling the gaps. And of course for cleaning I use metal files. And gluing the top of the missiles. Here on the side mesh fenders for the turret, I use again super glue for these tubes. And don't forget to glue rocket launchers itself attached to the machine guns. And we are ready for the painting. I must clean the whole model with isopropyl alcohol or soapy water. I use for cover of the windows and windshield the classic masking tape and sharp knife. After oracling and some other preparations for the final black primer, I start spraying the whole model with it, like this charging station and rotation for the missile launchers and SMG's launchers. And of course don't forget on the whole truck cover in this beautiful black primer and my average is Fenda BD-130 with 0.3mm nozzle. I use black primer because it makes fake shadows and I start spraying the rotation with a white color from Damia.
and right now I start gluing with super glue wheels. After that I done gluing of the wheels, I start gluing again with super glue this charging station. I use for painting this two beautiful colors made by Vallejo, blue grey and of course this green one from ML Mick. I use for painting brush from ML Mick and I just applying the color in the thin layers for better coverage. After when it's all paint and set on, on his place, I must glue the rotation with rubber contacta and some pressure. Here you can see the whole complete track camas, but still without the camo. I think it looks great, but this time it will be something interesting. As you can see, I changed the background color and of course, maybe I think a video quality. Let me know in the comment section below. And I start mixing the Tamiya black and white color. And as you can see, I start spraying the gray snakes. The painting of the camouflage was really relaxing and I really enjoy it because finally the model started looking great. And of course huge snake on the left side of the cabin. as well. When it's all grey snakes done, I start spraying the black ones. As you can see, I start again on the cabin for the first time. Of course, as you can see, small snakes on the, I think, shield covers for the rockets. You know what I mean it. When it's all sprayed with a black and grey color, I start covering the whole model in a clear varnish from Gunza.
when it's all dry I start applying wash into the panel lines, this mesh texture and some other details but don't much weather this type of model because it's a modern vehicle. And after that I apply the wash, I start cleaning it with a Revel Enamel Thinner. As you can see on the roof as well, I use for cleaning paintbrush from Emil Mick because, because it's white. After the weathering I start making small chipping with a silver color and brush from Da Vinci, as you can see on the plates. Right now I must paint some little details which is cover from spraying and that is the lights. I use the red one for the upper ones and for the under I use the yellow color. And as you can see right now I applying the decals on the model. I use the tweezers or cotton swap for correcting the position. I use for decal set on its place. Decal decal setter from Amomic and for like a softener the decal I use decal fix. And when I applied all decals on the model, I just unified with a matte varnish from Vallejo. And with this step is model finish. I hope you enjoyed this long video and thank you for watching and here you can see the finished model.